Hello, my name is J.P. Miller, and I am the author of the Leaders Like Us series with Carson DeLosa and Rourke Educational Media. Thank you for joining me in this discussion of the Writers Like Us title, Gabby Douglas. Today, we're going to talk about illustrations and the illustrator. As the writer of this book, I write the narrative portion. The illustrator is a different person that draws the visual aspect of the picture book. Now, as a writer, I have to leave some things up to the interpretation of the illustrator. And then there are some things that I can go ahead and explain out, but we don't want to explain too much because we do want to leave room for the uh, illustrator to interpret. So for example, with the Gabby Douglas story, when I talk about um, in the story, as a child, she was so excited when the first time that she went for gymnastics lessons that she jerked her hand away and she ran over to get on some of the equipment to get involved with some of the other students that were in the class. Now, I wouldn't tell exactly what that apparatus was that she got on. If I did, I would give that in what we call an illustration note to the illustrator. So I would leave it out of the narrative to allow the illustrator to bring that piece in. And another thing is um, in, in doing illustrations and as the writer, I will give them information. Um, for example, in the story, we talk about um, Gabby Douglas as a toddler would crawl out of her um, crib and she had great agility and strength. And so I leave that in the narrative as such, but I will leave the illustrator, what we in the industry call an art note or illo note, um, to make sure that she has her crawling out of a crib. Now, in this case, um, I had to do a little research and find a crib from the 1990s, uh, the end of the 1990s, early 2000s, because Gabby Douglas was born in 1995. So a crib that we have today may not look like a baby crib that she may have been in in 1995. Now, if I can find the actual photo of her uh, from some of the things that are on the internet, then I will take that and paste it into my notes for the illustrator to see. This is exactly what I'm looking for. But there are times that we have to look at period pieces and send that along to the illustrator. So the main objective that the writer has to do is uh, make sure that what is written can be interpreted visually or even provided so that it can be drawn on the page and the two mesh together to bring together a perfect picture book. Because when the, the narrative and the illustrations come together, then that is when the reader um, gets the most out of that story. Thank you for joining us for illustrations. I hope that this has been informative to you and look forward to talking to you again soon.